Alright guys, how's it going? Today we're playing the brand new WWE Immortals mobile game. So this is available for download on both iOS and Android devices and it is free so you can download it right away now on the App Store or the Google Play Store. It's kind of like WWE does Mortal Kombat so I'll let the intro play through and that'll explain it a little bit more. The endless battles, the struggles, it was all worth it. The Dark Lantern was within reach. Bray Wyatt would be able to bring its maddening light to his followers. But in his moment of victory, the Authority had plans of their own to cement their control over the WWE Universe forever. But they were rash. They activated the Lantern before they fully understood it. The Dark Lantern opened doorways to infinite other worlds where the WWE superstars were knights and mages, superheroes and supervillains, strange creatures and mighty warriors. Now, epic brawls rage everywhere. Now is the time of WWE Immortals. So there you go, it's all about Bray's magical lantern and the authority have stolen that and used it to open up all these alternate realities and now we've got superstars and divas from those realities coming through and they're things like superheroes, monsters, warriors, mages, all kinds of different characters and all waging battle as all hell is breaking loose. So this is the main menu, we've got play, online match, collection, store and settings. Now online match you can't actually play until you have a character that reaches level 5 so what we're going to do, we're going to head in a collection and that will show you the characters that I've currently got. So I've got the Demon Kane, the Dark Sorceress Page, the Ancient Druid Seamus and the White Witch that is Trish Stratus. So originally you'll start out with three random characters. I start out with Kane, Seamus and Trish and then after the first match I unlock Page. So you should unlock her or someone else at that point. If you want to get some extra characters to start off with though, you can actually buy coins. So you can get... Something like 12,000 coins there for £1.49 or if you're a bit of a crazy chick you can spend £80 on 1.1 million gold coins and then you can head over at the store and in the store you can buy some starter packs. So they're random packs that'll give you different superstars and things in there. So you've got a bronze pack, a gear pack, silver pack, special gold pack or a gold pack for 100,000 gold coins. Now you can also head into characters if you want to buy a separate character. So instead of taking a look with the random packs, so you can get a character that you want. So you've got things like Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, Brie Bella, Trish, Nikki, Sheamus, all different characters in there. And what you'll notice is that some of these superstars do actually have different characters in there. So there's a couple of pages, there's a couple of rocks, and there's a lot of different ones in there, including Super Cena, you can't forget him. And then you've also got talent cards, so they'll sort of increase your characters and give them different abilities or increase the health and the other stats. And if we scroll all the way at the end, you'll actually see that we've got another character in there. We've actually got Lita as well. So I don't know if she is partnered with Trish, kind of like the Bellas, how they're partnered together. So we'll have to wait and see for that. But what we're going to do, we're going to head back to the main menu. And we'll play a game. So you can see here all the different selections. So these are all the different stages that you've got. And you've kind of like got boss battles by the looks of it as well. So you'll see the last one has... Uh, attitude, well, a ruthless aggression here I see now there. Then we've got the King of Kings, Triple H, The Undertaker and a couple of others. But what we're going to do first, we'll play the first stage as this is kind of like a tutorial. So this will just show you how the game actually works. Now on the left, this is my team at the moment. So it's a team of three. We've got Kane, Trish and Paige. But you can actually edit your team and bring in one of the other superstars if you want to. So I've got Seamus there sitting out. I could bring him in, but I think I'm going to stick with the team that I've currently got. You can also tap on any of the cards and that'll bring up the stats. So you can see Paige's XP there and her rank. She's the Queen of Ravens, level 1. So we're just going to click done and we'll head over to Brawl. And this will start up the first match. So we've got a nice little loading screen there with Paige. I think that looks really cool. The Queen of the Ravens. So when this loads up, it's not going to be a proper match, it'll just kind of guide you through how the controls work. And that'll give you a bit of an idea of what the game is like. So it's just a case of tap the screen to attack. So we're using Kane here, and Kane's got special fire powers, so I'll show you them in a moment. So you can swipe left or right, and that'll perform a heavy attack. 
and you can kind of mix these up with the strikes and it'll give you different sort of combos. And because you have three people in your team, you can actually tag in any other character at any point. So we've tagged in Paige. Now use two fingers on the screen, that'll kind of block the moves, so that'll save you receiving some damage. And if we're just hitting a couple of strikes there, you'll see that increases the adrenaline. And once you get enough adrenaline, you'll get a signature move as well. So in the bottom corner there, you can see the number one. If we just press that, we'll go for the Banshee Rage. And you can swipe right, and that'll give you an extra damage multiplier. So PJ going with the headbutts, taking out Roman Reigns. And then what you want to do here is just continue hitting the strikes and the heavy attacks. Hit a couple of combos, so we've got a nice drop kick in there. And then once that meter is all full, we'll get a finishing move as well. So I'll show you what Pages is. So here's Pages' finishing move. And there we go, devastation with the Page Turner taking out Roman Reigns. So that is the first match done. And at the end of the match, you'll get some XP. Now, we've only got one XP for this one because it is just the tutorial and we've done it before. So you don't actually get any gold coins here, but in a real match, you'll get a lot more XP and you'll also get coins as well, which you can then use to buy other superstars and divas. And if you're completing this for the first time, you should get your extra card, which is where I got Paige. So we're gonna hit next and we'll head back to the main menu. So what I'm going to do now is I'll play through an actual match and then you can see how it's just how it works compared to the tutorial one. So we'll stick with the same team. You'll notice that stamina does go down. So if you do use the same team all the time, then the stamina will go down. And that'll make the matches a lot harder. But all right for the time being, we've got all the superstars there and divas on too. So we'll hit brawl, jump into a match. I think we're going up against Daniel Bryan first. So there we have a loading screen of The Rock channeling the electricity so he's kind of like a raiden i guess and here they go. so here we go team hell no it's kane against daniel bryan so i'll show you some of kane's special powers in this match so you can kind of see the fire there also when you hit three strikes you get the option to then swipe in a different direction and that'll give you an extra move so there's one there we'll set him on fire so we'll go for kane's finisher yeah go rapid swipe to the right so that'll get where 150% damage on there and Daniel Bryan's on fire so that'll do him extra damage and um, see they have swiped in Kane so it's Kane versus Kane I think we'll bring in Trish so there Kane going for that power bomb again he's going to set us on fire this time but we've got Sig with Trish so we'll use that I've got a rabbit tap for some extra damage 140% and it's supposed to be a head scissors, but that kind of went a little wrong. So I think I'm going to bring in Paige at this point. So you can see that Paige has also got a SIG. So we'll use the... Oh, we're going up Paige against Paige. So we'll go for the Banshee Rage, swipe down, and that gives us some extra damage on there. So we've got 145%. Nice little headbutts from Paige. Drains the adrenaline. See if we can get some combos in here too. So you can see there's a swipe, and that hits a nice drop kick. Bring back in Trish. Oh, Paige actually going for her Banshee Rage. Getting some revenge there. So we'll bring in Trish now. See if we can hit this prop piece this time. So we'll go for the signature. Extra damage on there, 140%. There we go, that's how it's supposed to work. Hit the head scissors takedown. And in comes Daniel Bryan. But he is no match for Trish. Getting some sweet stratisfaction in there. Bring in Kane and he can finish off Daniel. So we'll save that Sig and we'll use that actually on Kane. Actually, he's going to use that on us. So he's going to set the monster on fire. And just do exactly the same to Kane. So there we go. It kind of looks like he's going for a choke slam, but he then goes in for a power bomb. You can unlock extra signatures and finishers as you go through the different levels. I think they'll unlock at levels 10 and 20. So Kane will have things like the Tombstone and the Chokeslam at that point. 
So we'll switch back to Paige. And this is actually the last one. So we've took out two of the three members. So Paige is the last one. 145% damage. Knock her out with a headbutt. And there we have the victory. Knockout victory for Paige. And we're victorious. So there you go. You can see the XP has gone up. We've actually gone up a level. So Kane's now level 3. Trish is level 3. And so is Paige. And we've got 240 coins. So we can use them to buy other superstars and divas. Or any of the other... Little bonuses that just increase your characters. So there you go, that is your first look at WWE Immortals. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, and if you want to see more of it in action. Well, until next time, catch you later.